Okay, tore apart, apart this whole little body here that I built for these other motor controllers and rebuilt it with an Arduino Uno to test out this new motor shield. <clears throat> so here is the motor shield here. Basically, it's just using Arduino Uno. If you've seen this pop before, I built it to test these motor controllers, which were really good. And before I was just using a little nano board. And I can see here, this is just an Arduino shield, which is a motor controller, gives you four channels, and it plugs right onto an Uno. I got a 12-volt uh, battery here, I'm going up to the buck-down, step-down converter that pushes out because this board can only handle about six, or about 5 to 6.5 volts. You push it any more than that, it kind of struggles. Uh, this is controlling basic DC motors. But really, this motor driver here isn't really as good as the other ones because of the strength. If you put this on carpet, it won't really want to move very well. Now, these would be, probably be very good if you had a, a motor with a gear box with a really low torque. Now, they might actually work. But as using them for a bot and motor control, it really doesn't have enough umph to actually push the motors against carpet. It would probably work pretty well if you're just using it on a hard surface like tile or linoleum or something. But let me turn this on. It does work. You can do the H bridge pretty easy. So it does have an H bridge where you can control two or four DC motors, both forward and reverse, or you can actually hook up uh, stepper motors. Uh, if you use those, plus it also has a connection here for servo motors, where you can also add servos at the same time. But I found out with these, the way they got these pins here stacked, if you're using the motors and the servos at the same time, it actually creates a lot of heat on your voltage regulator. No, I wouldn't actually want to use this on an official Arduino Uno. I'd rather use a cheap clone in case you do burn it out, uh, which is my case when I'm not using my official one. But basically, for motor controls, robots, and things like that, probably not such a good idea. Now, if I put one of these motor drivers, which is the reason I built this little body to test, if you remember I had it here. This little thing would actually make this thing zip across any almost all terrain that the tires can actually travel on. Carpet, grass, dirt, whatever. So this is you're definitely the best bet for making robots, cars, and bots and things like that. As you can see on this bot here, I actually have two of them. Now for four-wheel drive. <coughs> 